So lately, I've been showing some brands that are going to be attending the Toronto Timepiece Show at the end of September. There's at least one, if not maybe two more here coming between now and then on the channel. But one of the brands attending is Christopher Ward, and I have in one of their latest releases, the new Trident GMT. If you're attending the show yourself, look forward to meeting you there. I'm going to be there all weekend, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But big thanks to Christopher Ward for lending this in. Really appreciate that. So let's get to it and check out the watch. All right. Now, Christopher Ward have been making some noise lately with some unexpected releases from the Bel Canto to the 12, even their newest diver, the Lumiere with the 3D applied luminous markers, which I'm hoping to get in for a video in the future too. But I like that even with releases like those, they still have kind of staples in their collection, like the Trident line. The Trident GMT is available currently in, I believe, three colors with likely more coming. I especially like this in the white dial version, but this blue is beautiful. All are available on a couple of bracelet options or rubber straps, and these are very well-built watches. Super solid spec sheet, and they're very easy on the eyes, too. There's one little change I'd like to see with these, but we'll get to that here soon. The dial is a glossy dark blue dial with the applied Twin Flags logo up top. And under macro, the finish work across the board is very good here. Just above the date at the 6, which is my favorite date placement usually. Depends on the watch, but I like the symmetry of that. Above the date, though, is GMT in light blue, then automatic and the water resistance printed in white. The hour markers are applied, and I'm a big fan of this handset, especially the hour hand and the light blue GMT. The hands, markers, and bezel pip really shine in low light. Literally, they're using grade X1BL C1 Super Luminova, and this is right up there with some of the heavy hitters in the loom department, so no complaints there. Running the watch is the Salida SW330, which is on display through the display case back. It is a 25 joule movement, beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour with a power reserve of approximately 56 hours. The signed screw down crown is very easy to grip. Good smooth winding action. And then in the next position here, this is a collar GMT, so you can adjust the GMT hand versus a traveler's GMT where you can adjust your local hour hand clockwise on the crown for the GMT and counterclockwise for the date. In the last position, you can set your hours and minutes. The bezel is the one area where I'd like to see a change. I like the look with the darker blue for night and the light for day on the ceramic insert. I would just prefer a proper bi-directional GMT bezel. This is a unidirectional 120 click bezel. The action is very nice feeling and sounding like it usually is on their divers, but for me, I'd prefer the actual GMT bezel. Minor complaint, but that would be my preference. The bracelet here is their Bader bracelet, which is a fully brushed three-link oyster style bracelet. The tolerances on this thing are seriously tight, like there is almost no play at all. The links use screws for sizing. It's got quick release spring bars and the clasp is solidly constructed, signed there with the company logo and also has an on the fly adjustment system if you need a little extra space or to tighten it up throughout the day. The case is Christopher Ward's light catcher case, which I'm a big fan of just for how well it conforms to my wrist. Top level finishing with sharp lines where the polish work meets the brushed areas. As far as size goes, the case comes in at a width of right at 40 millimeters. Lug to lug is 47.3 millimeters, although the end link is fixed, which brings that out to 51 0.8 millimeters for my wrist size it's fine but if you have a little bit of a smaller wrist you could end up with some overhang there 
Thickness on the watch is 12.1 millimeters, including the slightly raised AR treated sapphire. And the water resistance is a huge 300 meters. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, and it just wears so good. Feels even thinner than it should with how the light catcher case is designed. Other than the bezel, which is a bit of a nitpick, it's an excellent watch. Solid spec sheet again all around, and it is a looker too. The last thing I like about the brand as a whole is their 60-60 guarantee, which gives you 60 days to return your watch, along with a 60-month or 5-year warranty. When it comes to cost, this configuration on the Bader bracelet retails for $1380 USD. Link to where you can find these will be below. Appreciate you taking a few minutes to stop by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.